The federal government of Nigeria has been in fear since the youth announced their intention to protest against hunger and hardship in the country. But the one thing that surprises me most is why they should be blaming P2B for the protest intention. What uh, does P2B have to do with this protest? If I may ask, threatening back to Lord Jonathan's regime, Tinibu was the one encouraging the youths to protest against hardship then. That time, a bag of rice was just 8,000. That time. That time, cement was towards 1,5. But today, a bag of rice is now 70 to 100,000 now. Today, a bag of cement is now 8,000 naira and many more things happening. So my question is that why is the government trying to prevent this protest? Why? It's high time the youth rise up and reclaim that country called Nigeria because a lot of things are going wrong there. A lot of things are going wrong. Things have spoiled. Hardship everywhere. Things are expensive. Inflation everywhere. All these old men are busy spandering our money, looting the, the country's resources. When things are going wrong in a country, it is the right of the people of the country to come out and protest. It is never against any law of a country. So I don't see why the government are trying all their best to stop the protest. Why? The people of the country are fed up. Things have gone wrong. Nothing is working in that country. So the youth have every right to rise up and protest. After now, you see police will start shooting. I mean, will start shooting. My dear, everyone is suffering this hardship. So it is hard time for you guys to come out and support the protesters. Yes, please, to give a diploma. I don't support a violent protest. This protest should be a peaceful one because everyone is suffering this hardship. Both army, police, navy, and all the forces in Nigeria, they are facing the hardship. How much are they paying an army uh, person? How much is policeman receiving? Chicken change. Come to a well-developed country, you will see how well they pay their forces because their job is a risky one so they get well paid but come to nigeria a policeman is receiving merely i don't know how much they're receiving very small amount of money i mean personally receiving chicken change the hardship is affecting you also the hardship is affecting everyone so the forces should come out and also protest because the hardship also affects you guys Go and check how much a senator in Nigeria is earning. They even collect hardship allowance. The hardship they are contributing to, they are collecting allowance for it. A time will come, the bag of rice will reach 200,000. Because anything that rises up in Nigeria will never come down. It will keep rising, rising, rising. So the youth should rise up and protest for their rights. Look at Nande Kano being held in the DSS custody for nothing. They keep beating around the bush for nothing. Pass judgment, they will not. Release the man, they will not. The government that controls the court and the forces can never give you a good governance. The complaint lack of security in the country. Imagine an average individual has up to five security up to five policemen protecting him now talking about government government officials they, they have up to 10 15 policemen and army men protecting them calculate how many government officials in the country and how many individuals in the country that have policemen protecting them then calculate it and you will know the reason why we are facing lack of security in the country now the government officials are the ones 
instructing the security of the country to protect themselves and their family. And also the rich people in the country, the rich individuals are also part of these extractions. And these securities are coming from the government. The securities that are supposed to protect the individuals. Some people are not extracting them to protect themselves, thereby leaving the masses unsecured. This is why Nigerians are facing insecurity. So it is high time for the youth to rise up. There are many things to protest about. There are many things to talk about. There are many things to sort out in Nigeria to get things right. Without it, things will keep getting worse and worse. Oh yes.